Okay, it's Tuesday, January the 7th, 2020. And this is a video of my Carolina Reaper seed germination test. It's been three weeks today since I planted these seeds. Just wanted to show, give you all an, an update and uh, show you what I got. Again, 72 seeds planted, 12 seeds each from six different seed vendors. All of these were purchased online. So here's what we've got. All right. Greenhouse number one, Sonoran Spice Company. 12 seeds planted, none have germinated. All right. Greenhouse number two, 12 seeds planted, none have germinated. Pepper Joe's. Greenhouse number three, pepperhead.com. 12 seeds planted, none have germinated. Greenhouse number four, 12 seeds planted, none have germinated. Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Greenhouse number five, 12 seeds planted, one has germinated. That is Sandia Seed Company. Greenhouse number six, 12 seeds planted, four have germinated. I've already pulled three of the four that have germinated. There's one little seedling right there that I haven't um, repotted yet. This is Tyler Farms. So, uh, current count, Goes like this. So Norman Spice Company, zero. Pepper Joe's, zero. Uh, Pepperhead.com, zero. Pucker Butt Pepper, Pepper Company, zero. Sandia Seed Company, one. Tyler Farms, four. I swear, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I'm, I'm disappointed in this, uh, the germination rates here. I've, I've got all of these under heat mats. All of these were prepped the same way. I soaked the seeds in just regular distilled water for 48 hours. All of them planted the same day. So conditions should be just about the same. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is, um, with these peat pods. I purchased these online from a seller on eBay. I don't know if the peat pods just don't have good soil, if they're too getting too wet, too dry, what the deal is, and, and if that's affecting my germination rates. Um, the only reason I bought these was because at the time, none of the local stores near me, Meyer, Lowe's, they did not have any Jiffy brand peat pellets out. Uh, they do now, and that's what I have purchased. The, the three that you see right here, that one, that one, and that one, the, these are pods that are actual uh, Jiffy brand that I purchased at Lowe's. So when these seedlings emerged um, from the, the old pods that I, I purchased online, I went ahead and pulled those, repotted them, and now these have all got a seed. These are actual Jiffy brand peat pods. That one, that one, and that one. Haven't pulled that one yet. That's That's the... Uh, ones I bought online, you can see there is a difference in the size of these. These are the actual Jiffy brand are quite larger than the ones I purchased online. But I don't know if there's a difference in the um, quality of the peat with the actual Jiffy brands, and you know if, if that's what's causing the uh, poor germination rates or, or what's going on. Um, with my grow lamp, I usually turn it off at night, so these are getting probably. I don't know, 15, 16 hours of light and probably about eight hours of darkness. That one from uh, Sandia Seed Company, that's the only one out of 12 that I planted from their seeds that's actually emerged. Um, so, so far, Tyler Farms is, is the leader. Out of 12 seeds planted, I've got four that actually germinated. Technically five because this pod right here, I noticed a few days ago, uh, it looked like the seed had germinated, but it never pushed completely through the surface of the soil. So what I did was just uh, plant it a little bit deeper. It has not emerged yet. So I don't know what the deal is with that one. Um, 
I'm going to let these continue until the end of the month and we'll see what happens. Um, I'll show you all my plants. These were from seeds taken from Carolina Reapers that I grew last season. These were not purchased online. These were, were seeds from um, plants that I grew. So far doing okay. A few more over here. There's a few seedlings I still need to uh, pot. Let's use these uh, red solo cups. Miracle Grow potting mix. I have started some more seeds. I got a heat mat from Lowe's the other day. These are uh, Pucker Butt Pepper Company. These I had on my um, south facing windowsill for a couple weeks. None of these have germinated yet. So I moved them to this uh, heat mat. These are uh, 12 seeds from Sandia Seed Company. And these are 12 from Tyler Farms that I started uh, just a few days ago. Um, these are actual Jiffy peat pellets. These are ones that are purchased online. So just looking at it, you can tell the difference. To, uh, again, the ones that are actual Jiffy brand, quite a bit larger. But I don't know if the peat quality is any better or not. We'll see if these uh, germinate any better than, than the ones I purchased online. Uh, but I'm, I'm at a loss to tell you why the germination rates have been so terrible. Uh, I've never had this much poor luck growing the Carolina Reapers. Um, if anybody's got any tips, uh, let me know. Uh, I've still got plenty of seeds. My, my Carolina Reaper grow season is not going to be a bust by any measure. I just wish the germination rates were a little bit better. I want to thank everybody again for watching. If you've got any grow tips, anything that I, I can try to improve the germination rates, um, comment and uh, I'll, I'll take any advice I can get. Thanks for watching.